Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my August favorites. I'm excited because this is going to be my first favorites video um, on my channel. And also, I can't believe August is over. It's done. Se acabó. In other words, it's that's it. We're done with it. Um, now we're in September and I'm excited because I can't wait till fall. Fall is like my favorite season of the year because it's not too hot, it's not too cold, and I love wearing boots, I love wearing scarves, and nice sweaters, you know, not big jumps of jacket, like, no, I don't like that. So, yeah, I am very excited. So if you guys are interested to see what are my favorites for the month of August, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so my first favorite is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 130. Um, this is a medium to full coverage. I am obsessed with the Maybelline Fit Me line. I've always had, ever since I started with makeup, actually my first liquid foundation was from the Fit Me line. So yeah, I am so obsessed. And again, this is a drugstore product. So for those who love drugstore products, I definitely recommend this Fit Me foundation. It sets beautifully on the skin. Again, it has a medium to full coverage, depending on the amount of layers you apply. So yeah, this is my favorite foundation for the month. Yes. <laughs> My next favorite is this Maybelline Fit Me Again. This is the setting powder. This is in the shade 310 Sun Beige. I love this to set my foundation, any foundation. It doesn't have to be the Fit Me line. I use it to set high-end drugstore um, foundations. I also like to use this alone. It has good coverage when I apply it alone. I mean, on the areas I want to cover. It doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look powdery. I just hate when powders look powdery. I can't stand it. it looks like I had like I look old I don't know I just don't like it so obviously I'm almost hitting pan on this you guys could see so sad bye bye now I'm just kidding I, I still could you know use a few um applications on this so yeah this has been my favorite powder for the month of August my next favorite is this Becca and Jaclyn Hill collabed for this beautiful amazing highlight love you baby Yes, this is in the shade Champagne Pop. I am obsessed with this highlighter. Um, the, form the formula of this highlight is just so creamy, so buttery. It glides on beautifully on the skin. And this um, highlight is good for any skin tone. Fair, medium to dark skin. It will look gorgeous on you guys. Trust me. This is an amazing highlighter. I can't get enough of this highlighter. Unfortunately, I'm not wearing this highlighter today for some reason it's not doing this justice because of my ring light so sorry guys but still i recommend it and you guys should try it obsessed my next favorite for the month is this mac bronzer this is their mineralized skin finish in the color give me sun i've been obsessing with this bronzer i actually have it on right now so it has a little bit of that orange color so if you don't like like that orange tint on your on your bronzers then I don't recommend this product I like it because it doesn't make me look like all chocolatey or patchy it just blends on beautifully and apply beautiful it applied beautifully and it just makes me look more bronzed up and give me some warmth on my skin I love it I just love this product and the formulation is amazing and this is actually one of my favorite bronzers from MAC so again this is the mineralized skin finish and it gave me sun my next favorite is from beige cosmetics this is their 10 color glamorous blush palette um, it comes with 10 different blushes I like it because it has a variety of shades you have your reds you have your hot pinks your pinks and your neutrals and the pigmentation is ridiculously amazing it is so so pigmented so when you are gonna grab some product don't do this this is not how you grab the product you need to tap it and then tap on your face and blend it up because it is so pigmented actually the first time i got it i went and i did the same thing this digging because that's what we do with blushes right i applied it i looked like a complete 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 clown i was so upset i was like oh my god no but at the end of the day it was actually worth it because the pigmentation is amazing so it will last through for a long long time i've been obsessed with this blush palette from bh cosmetics my next favorite now that we're talking about bh cosmetics why not just get over this is the 88 color palette this is their matte eyeshadow palette again from bh cosmetics so if for those who are fully oh, <laughs> For those who are freelancers or for those who are just starting with makeup, I recommend this palette. It comes with tons of colors in shade. They also have a shimmer, a shimmer, 
a shimmer palette. I actually own that one as well. Um, and I did a tutorial using this palette. I did a back to school tutorial using this palette because it is so affordable and it has great pigmentation. And yeah, I recommend this eyeshadow and I've been loving it as well to play around with. Amazing. My next favorite fur in the month of August are three mascaras. Yes, three mascaras. Um, the first one is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara when I am not wearing falsies. Um, I don't know what technology this mascara has, but it has some clumps on the brush. And it doesn't clump on my lashes. So that's what I like because I hate clumpy lash lashes. And I like it because it gives me like that va va voo without having to wear lashes. Obsessed. My next favorite is this um, MAC Extend and Play Giga Black Lash in the shade Super Black. Um, I use this for my bottom lashes. The wand is so small and I love it again to separate all of my bottom lashes and it doesn't like land on, it doesn't land under my eye because I hate when mascaras touch like my under eye, especially after I concealed. It's not good. <laughs> The next one is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the color Carbon Black. This one I use for my bottom, for my top lashes. It has a thin wand as well. It separates my lashes gorgeously and applies an amazing amount of product. It looks super, super, super black and I love when my mascaras look really, really black. It just opens up the eye more and just makes you look like you have fluttery, fluttery lashes. My next favorite are four brushes. These four brushes are from Morphe. Morphe is an affordable makeup line as well. I'm obsessed with their brushes. Um, so the first one is this Morphe M436 brush. This is their dual fiber brush. You guys can see it's dirty guys. All my brushes are dirty. Okay. Um, and I like this for when I'm going more for a natural look. And uh, I apply blush with this because it just blends in the blush beautifully. It looks so airbrush and it looks so natural so if you guys are aiming for that natural blush then definitely the morphe m436 does that job for you the next one is this morphe e22 brush i love this brush because um it's so fluffy and it blends my my crease color like no other and yeah it picks up an amazing amount of product and i am obsessed it is so fluffy guys so fluffy Love you, fluffy. <laughs> the next favorite is the Morphe G8 brush. I use this to apply my blush as well, but this is when I'm going for more of a glammed up look, which is actually what I wore today. Well, today's not my glammed up look. Today's more like a my. <sighs> and my last favorite from Morphe brushes is the Morphe M510 brush. This is like a face detail brush, I would say. And the reason I say that is because you know how. There's some eye, some brushes for eyes that are detailed for your inner corner, for your liner, whatever it is. This is a multi-purpose brush, and it could fit in small places like setting up your your under eye, to clean up your contour, to highlight, to bronze um any certain areas. I love this brush, and it's so fluffy, so it makes the products blend even more and look beautiful. Okay guys, so my next favorite are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. These are the HD concealers. Um, I have for my highlight, I have it in the shade Classic Ivory. And for my contour, whenever I want to look all glamorous and just that cut, cut contour, I use it in the shade Toast. I've been obsessed with these with these um, concealers. You can also use it on your clients. If you're a freelancer because they're so affordable a lot of people compare it to the mac pro longwear um concealer and i actually do i love the formula the only thing about this is that you do have to set it as quick as possible because it can tend to crease while you're blending that's what i don't like about this but honestly other than that it gives an amazing highlight an amazing finish and if you set it as soon as possible it's gonna look good um and i like this the dark shade so whenever i want to contour when I, again when i'm going for that glamorous look and I want that sharp sucked in cheeks then definitely go for the darker shade now we're gonna go ahead and move on to lippies I've been obsessed with lippies nowadays and the first lippies I'm gonna talk about is the combo I have on right now and um, the liner I have today is the ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade bound I've been obsessed with this 
with this liner it's like a nude shade but with some sort of it's not like a washed out nude um type of shade so i've been liking it and on top of that i have the ColourPop lippy sticks in the shape bound as well been loving this this isn't a glossy finish they have a matte a glossy and a satin finish something like that i'm also going to do a swatch so you guys can see how good this lipstick is this is, again, in the shade Bound. This is what I have on um, today. And the good thing about ColourPop is that their products are affordable. Their lippy sticks and their lippy pencils are $5 a piece. And, yeah, they have good pigmentation and they're good quality for their price. And the next is the, the Smashbox Be Legendary Lip Gloss in the shade Pout. So this is the three products that I have on my lip today I like this it is like a clear um a clear lip gloss I don't have I like it just to add some shine to it and some glossy finish to it so I have been loving this combo all together the next lipstick that I've been obsessed with is from Gerard Cosmetics in the shade Buttercup if I'm not mistaken Jaclyn Hill collaborated on for this lipstick as well and I've been obsessed with this lipstick. It is like a pinky nude lipstick. I've been obsessed. Nothing but obsessed. So this is it right here. I'm trying to see if this... My light is too strong. So sorry guys. And then also from Gerard Cosmetics, my favorite lip gloss is in the shade Nude. I've been obsessed with Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks and lip glosses. I'm going to show you. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Guys, I suck in swatching, so I'm sorry. Again, this is Jar Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Nude. So, yeah, that has been my whole lippy favorites. <laughs> okay, guys, now I'm going to move on to my skin favorites. Um, the first one is this Sephora mas um, Mascara or Mask. Mask. That's with these. They smell so good, and they're actually worth fine there i think they retail for like six dollars if i'm not mistaken six or twelve dollars something like that and i'm obsessed with these mascara uh, these um these mascaras these masks um this is for anti-aging and smoothing i like to put this on whenever i'm gonna lay down and have a relaxed day watch tv um and yeah i have like a little spot treatment and i've been obsessed with it it comes with it's like a little booklet type of thing and you take out you open it and you just Put the mask on it's not like a gooey mask it's just a mask that you just put on it's the fiber masks the next skin favorite is this avino enzyma therapy this is a moisturizing cream i use this to moisturize my face before i put my makeup it has oatmeal so i've seen a difference in my skin when i started to apply this moisturizer it's been looking more smoother it's been looking brighter and it's been looking really really nice i've been obsessed with this and it doesn't because my skin tends to itch a lot and this actually has calmed down the itchiness and the redness that i have around my t-zone so i've been obsessed with this avino and i love avino products because they're so natural and again it has oatmeal so that's good for your skin as well next and last skin favorite is the Euroma water this is a toner water and it has rose and lavender so what it's going to do is going to calm the skin it's going to calm all that redness i have that problem that i get red on my t-zone especially around my nose it's ridiculous and i like to use this for after i remove my makeup and i wash my um my face everything and i just apply it and it smells so good guys Ooh, it smells delicious you could put this with or without um makeup on so it feels really good mm. love the smell of it and it's just so calming so soothing and it's also so good for the skin and it's also natural um again it's from lush so i've been obsessed with this toner a water toner from lush moving on i've been obsessed with this victoria's secret body butters i am obsessed this is in the scent Such a Flirt. It is so, mm, smells so sexy. It smells, it smells so, I don't know what's, what's, what kind of, what can I explain to you guys so you guys can understand? 
it smells like rosy-ish type um it smells really really good so again this is a deep softening body butter i love this it soaks into my skin beautifully beautifully and it just leaves me so moisturized for a long period of time some moisturizers like body lotions do not keep you moisturized for a long time and it just melts into the body Ugh, obsessed after i take a shower i put some of this on and it's just amazing i love it, it smells so good and again it's so soft for your body the next and last favorite of the month is this Chanel Chance Perfume. I am loving this perfume. This is actually one of my favorite perfumes from my whole collection. Um, this is the Extra Large Bottle. Now they came out with the Extra Large Bottle. They used to have the, no, well, they still have the small, the large, and then now they came up with the Extra Large. I've had two of the large bottles before now i have the extra large my boyfriend gave me this for my birthday i love the scent it smells so good it smells it smells elegant and youthful at the same time i don't know about what about this perfume i wish you guys could smell it. i wish if you guys go hey guys smell but i can't so it smells so good and so elegant i only use this when i'm going out like to an event or to Something important, something formal. I don't use this on an everyday basis. I got this in May, and look where I'm up to. Yes, I got it for my birthday, and look where I'm up to. Not even halfway. Okay, guys, so that completes my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Also, any questions, leave it on the comment box below. I'll also have all the items I talked about in this video in the description box as well and links to especially BH Cosmetics. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!